Hey, what's up guys? We're here at uh, Silanoi Martial Arts here in San Gabriel. We're doing a baseball choke seminar, uh, showing these guys uh, how to put your friend to sleep with a baseball choke. So here's the baseball choke here. So I go thumb in and four fingers in here. So once I'm here, I gotta let my friend pass. So what I like to do is I like to shrimp off to the side and use my left leg to wrap around his back and I open this up. When I do this, this, per this pretty much encourages them to pass this way. So as he's passing here, I'm gonna let him, right? And I'm not gonna rush this, but what I'm gonna do is when, once he's halfway he's there, this leg automatically comes and spins around and hooks my friend's uh, thigh. Do you guys see that? As I hook my friend's thigh here, I just wait. When he decides to pass, and he will, I'm gonna flick him off of me, right? And when he starts coming into me, I'm gonna spin my leg over and put him to sleep. Without my friend, it looks like this. Okay? Boom, I let him pass, I put the hook, I flip him off of me, and then I throw out the wall. And the joke comes in. Yes? Boom. And right? I want you to connect funny bone to funny bone. Um, if I try to do this choke on my friend, and I keep my funny bone not connecting, right? It's not gonna be effective. You see that? But once I connect the funny bone, the choke comes in. Does that make sense? Yes, any questions? Let me see you guys do it, one, two. There you go, sick bro. That was good. Come on, belly down, belly down. So I come in here, thumb in, four fingers in. I shrimp out to the side, I encourage the fit. I belly down on my friend, and they go to sleep. Notice how I didn't use much energy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a matter of getting the ego in the way. When you flick him off, he says, ah, ah, I'm going to get the side control. Yeah. And this motion here is what gets him tap down. Yes? Yes. Put the hook in. Flick him off of you. Belly down. Sick. Let's go ahead and circle up. So, well, I remember the first time I got baseball choked, right? It was by my brother-in-law, Jose. I woke up literally on his back like this, and he, who the hell is this guy? And he choked me out, which led me down the rabbit hole of the baseball show. Once I go here, if you guys don't feel too comfortable go jumping straight up to your feet, it's okay to keep your fist to the mat and pop your feet up. Do you guys see that? Make him feel super uncomfortable. When he pushes it off, I'm gonna drop my shoulder where? Into the solar plex. Good. The block wall comes into effect. The choke comes in and he goes to sleep. Yes? Let's see you guys do it. One, two. <laughs> Neil Valley. Let him push it off of you. Let him push that. You gotta push it with enough pressure to when he says, I don't like that Neon Valley. So you listen, you're gonna push that move away. Drop your shoulder where? Onto the solar plex. Knee choke out. There you go. Nice. You gotta drop that shoulder into the solar plex. Like right? right. 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 Do it again. Yeah. 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 You drop your shoulder into the solar plex. And you choke into the solar plex. choke from, well, the baseball choke work from close guard. Let's find out, yeah? I'm gonna go thumb in, and what does this hand do? Four fingers in, yes. My fists go onto the mat here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start bump. I'm gonna start shaking like I have hydraulics on, yes? Once I feel his, his, uh, his closed guard loosen up a little bit, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some break dancing. I remember I saw this video of my friend Sai's show, he was doing some break dancing moves in the pool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a break dancing move, and I'm gonna spin around, and I catch him with the baseball yeah. choke, yes? So one more time. Close guard, thumb in, four fingers in, right? I put the fist on the mat and I start dropping, dropping the, the switches, hydraulics, yes? Once they get loosened up enough, I'm gonna do my break dancing move and I choke him out, yes? Let's have you guys do that, one, two. So I'm gonna come in super close. 
And when I'm ready, I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna drop the switches. Boom, boom, boom. And now I'm gonna break dance like side show. Boom. Oh. Uh, but this, this form has to come in. There you go, yes. Do it again. Let's go. Nice. There you go. So, right? I come in nice and deep. I come in here. I drop the switches. One thing, when she loosens up a little bit, I'm gonna do something to spin. You see my spin? I drop my, I give her my back, and this becomes a block wall. This is not moving. This, the top end that's doing the choke comes in and chokes my friend out. Remember this one? Remember this one? This is the block wall. There you go, nice. So, I'm gonna come in again. Come in, four fingers in. I'm gonna drop my 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 shoulder onto a solar plex here, but now he says, "All right, you know what? You're top heavy. I'm gonna sweep you. I'm gonna take you over to the side. So as he takes me over to the side, I'm gonna tip your toe and I'm gonna choke him out. So one more time. So a big part of jujitsu, guys, is misleading your friends, making them believe that they're gonna get the dominant position. However, you're gonna finish them with a nice little choke. Yes. So here, let's do this one more time. So Omar has me in close guard. He says, Art, you've choked me up four times now. You're not gonna catch me again. I go four, thumb in, four fingers in. I drop my shoulder into the solar plex and I go top heavy. Notice how I'm going top heavy, guys. He's gonna wanna throw me over. When he throws me over, I'm gonna tippy toe and I'm gonna lead to him again. The block wall is in effect and the choking hand finishes the choke. Omar, how'd that feel? Pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Let's see you guys do it. One, two. Let's drop that shoulder into the solar plex. Any guy like Art, right? You're gonna go nice and close. He wants to sweep you over. The minute he sweeps you over, you're gonna tippy toe on this plane and you're gonna finish the choke. Go, finish the choke. You're gonna, this elbow drives up to the sky and this one becomes a block wall. Finish the choke. There you go, nice. So, I know you felt, it felt kind of awkward, right? So when I'm with my friend here, right, and I'm here with him, I'm gonna stay nice and comfortable and nice and tight. See how tight I am here with my friend? I'm gonna drop this knee as I'm slicing over and I drop my shoulder into a solar plex and I encourage him to sweep me. When he sweeps me over, look at I tip you to drive into him, and he goes to sleep. So you don't even have to turn again. So, to touch the funny bone, and it's gonna go flying away. Does that make sense? So I want to stay tight the whole time. Make sense? Your name? Oh, thank you. Okay, a little deeper. You see that? <laughs> One time here. This is really good one for. Uh, oh, that's the one. So with the uh, art here uh, on the baseball bat jokes uh, at Solano Martial Arts in San Gabriel. Boom. Yeah. Come train with us guys. Gino's awesome. He's located here in San Gabriel. Anytime. Can they come and visit? Yep, yeah, come and visit. Come and visit. You heard it from him direct. Yep. Yeah. Well, here's the name. <laughs> Maybe he's staying tight. So he's uh he's holding his guard tight so I don't pass. He's keeping his head pinned so I cannot get my cross face under. So I just move a little bit back and his head comes up. You see that? And then I see a lot of you guys, you guys are being too nice here. You gotta open this and see how I bring it up. And then look, I cinch it so it's even tighter. And once I'm here, look, I just bounce my elbow back. So it opens up this side of his body. You see that? Now he's kind of straight and I could put a lot of pressure right here onto his face. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that at all. So let's go for a choke now. Maybe we don't wanna go for the pass. I'm gonna bring my knee here, up close to his body. Guys, you guys can to see his head right here. So you guys can see. The magic's over here. So I'm gonna look to pass this lapel back to the first hand. See here? But I'm really tight on it. So I'll, I'll choke down a little bit and come palm in here. So I have this position. You kind of feel like you don't have control, but if he tries to turn into me, look. I just say no. Right there, with the, with the blade, okay? So maybe I'll let him I'll harass him a little bit here, and I'll let him turn in. <laughs> what I'm looking for is the, the other part of that lapel. So 
So I can do four fingers in here. Maybe you can't get it, you can just cut. But I wanna come, I'll shave his face down, forearm to forearm here, so I'm on the neck. And then I wanna bring him in towards my hip here. So once I'm here, sorry, you choking? <laughs> Not yet. So this top one is gonna be kind of the bar, like Coach Art's talking about, the wall. So I'm here, and it's mostly gonna be the bottom arm right here that's doing the choke. Look how I move my body. See that? Okay? So this one's just a bar. And so the variation on this choke is a lot of times they know this cross choke is coming. So they come to block. So look, I look to cup the tricep. I move my body onto it. And the same thing, I crank like this. Okay? They call this one Bravo choke. One more time from the beginning. So we're here. He's half guard, he's on his side. So we want him flat. Stay tight, sit on his leg here, okay? Looking for, see my little move here to get the inside space right there? I swim in. If he's tight on me, I'll lean, I'll scoot back a little so the head comes up to get my cross fit. But open the lapel, another bite. Bounce my elbow back, see that? I can put the pressure here. So once I'm looking to feed the lapel, I'm gonna move up towards his head here. Come in, palm in. I'll give myself a little slack. I'll slide down and get it. Here you could take another bite too if you want. If he tries to turn in, I just turn him back with that right on his head. Control the head, control the body. So I'll give him a little bit of space so he wants to come up. There we go. Look for that other, I'll just go four fingers right in that other tail of the lapel. I'll shave his face down, forearm to forearm. Bring him in towards my hip and the choke's here. Okay, variation comes to block the cross, cup the tricep, move my chest onto it, okay? And same thing, you can lift up the head here too. Got it, any questions? Question, One. can we sprawl on that Bravo chip? Of course. <laughs> this is all good. You can get swept here and get this choke. Mm. You can come on top, come on top, come on top. I'm still getting the choke here. Mm. Same with the cross. I think Coach Art's talking about here, drop, really drop my weight here, my chest right behind his tricep, and get the choke here. Okay? We got enough. Make sense? It's all good. There you go. I grabbed here, and this was driving up. Yeah, that's what she says. So I'm all locked, and the choke is coming this way. Okay, this one's just like this. I'm not even really squeezing, I'm just, I'm just a bar with this. He's gonna do it to me. There you go, feel that control when they turn in? Mm -hmm. Put me back flat, say no. Put me back flat. Not with this, right here. With the forearm. Turn my, turn my head, forearm. turn my head with this. With the forearm. Yes! Oh. There you go. <laughs> Woo! You gotta be me. So now, maybe give me some space so I wanna come, so I wanna come towards you. Encourage Relax you. a little bit. And come up, I give it to you right there. I'm being, I'm stubborn. Give some of that payback. Give some of that payback. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, let's work a little more. Standing up, right? Because a lot of a lot of times, friends ask me, "Hey, will the baseball choke work if, if my friend is standing?" Well, let's find out. So when I'm here, I'm gonna imagine. Remember, I'm gonna always imagine my friend's uh, lapel is a baseball bat. Yes. So when I come in, thumb in here, I'm holding the bat here. Yes. The other one is here. Do you guys see that? So when I'm here with my friend, all I have to do is I have to drop to my knees and I have to give on my bat because I want to swing that bat, right? So when I swing the bat like it, I drop here. I put in the seat. You can see that? You see how the bat didn't bend? With, without the bat, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna hold him here, right? I'm gonna pull him down, right? And this quick competition too, look it. 
I, I'm here with my friend, right? And my friend's 270. Okay, I want to come in here. I'm going to wait, wait. He's going to let go of this lapel. Once he lets go, look, I come in here. Oh, I put on the safety. Face spot shock from standing. Yes? So, guys, uh, I want to take this time here because uh, we're going to start rolling in a second. And we're going to do a simple QA. Do you have any questions in reference to what we learned today for Coach Drew or myself? Any questions? So like if the half, when you're like a half guard and you're on top and trying to go for the choke, what are some of the ways that you do to clear the arms to get those grips? Because you know no one's going to let you have oh, Show me. Come here. Uh, just on the upper part. Yeah, half guard. You said half guard, right? Yeah, so like you're trying to get the grips on the top, but you know, some people aren't going to let you. Great. So what, are the what a great question, right? Big round of applause for him. So, come here. What I want to do is I want to relax, right? If I start grabbing my friend like this, ooh, right, which a white belt does, right, my friend's going to know the choke is coming. I want to relax my grips, and I just want to, look at, I want to play with him. So when I'm here, I might be wanting to go to Neon Valley, right, and look at, now I have the grips. Do you guys see how I have the grips? Once I establish my grips, I'm going to act as if I'm going to slice through. Once I slice down here, where does my shoulder want to come? The solar plex, yes, and now look it. I let him keep half guard, and I create that block wall, and the choke comes in, and I finish my friend with a baseball choke. Make sense? So it's about relaxing, guys. It's not about giving it away and telling him, hey, the choke is gonna come. I want him to feel relaxed here and just be calm and be like, okay, cool, everything's good, right? And look at how I'm moving my whole body. So he has to contend to everything that I'm doing. So I'm gonna get my grips, once he gets the grips, once I get the grips, look at I drop. And you see how when I go for my choke, I'm committed to it, right? I'm not thinking twice whether, like, will it work, will it not work? In my mind, it's already done. And when you guys get to that level with your chokes, that you guys are gonna get the choke, and your friend has no choice but tapping or going to sleep, you guys will be a lot more effective with chokes. Make sense? Any other questions for Coach Drew or myself? Yes, sir. What do you need to watch out for if you're choking? How do they defend it? Or if you're getting choked like that? What a great question. Big round of applause for my friend. Woo! Let me bring you here real quick. So, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do one of my favorite, favorite chokes, right? The baseball choke. He's gonna catch me, he's gonna get the baseball grip choke here. So you're gonna go thumb in and four fingers in here. Now he's gonna belly down, right? He's gonna belly down, yes! As, he, as he's bellying down and he's choking me out here, I need to act quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. Look, I put one hand by his fist and the other hand by his hip. By a show of hands, oh, hold on, I'm sorry. By a show of hands, who here has watched The Little Mermaid? Yes? Okay, one of my favorite scenes with The Little Mermaid is when Ariel is, is, um, is on the rock and splashing against the rock. You guys remember that? That's one of my favorite scenes, okay. Well, this is just like The Little Mermaid. So we're gonna be Ariel. Right? And we're gonna be, and our friend is gonna be the rock that's trying to choke us out. I'm gonna put one hand here and one hand here, and I'm gonna sprawl out. Try to choke me, my friend. I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars if you choke me out. A hundred dollars. Come on, come on. You see how I don't let him get funny bone to funny bone, and his hand is stretching out. Come on, a hundred bucks. Right? When he's coming, when he's right here, and he can't get the choke, he's gonna get, like, he's gonna get tired of it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna catch the arm bar. Yes? Big round of applause for my friend! <laughs> Woo! You got a question for Coach Drew or myself? Uh, on the last choke that you were showing us, do you get, do you pass the lapel to the other hand before you start going to the inside or? So, so a lot of this stuff, guys, we're showing you moves and stuff, but a lot of it is very situational. Like somebody, the first question was something about what do you do if they're just, uh, if you can't get your grips in? Well, if he's here and he's just staying tight, this game is kind of stalled. So we, somebody has to make a move uh, for this game to start. Like if he's gonna be up here all, up, all tight, black belts, we're gonna come to the feet here because see, he's all upper body tight, right? So you kind of have to get, take what is given to you. And your question specifically was about the knee slice and passing the grip. Okay, so a lot of times in jujitsu, all the positions, there's always like a little fight for the inside position. So a lot of little subtle stuff. Remember what we do here, right? 
Superman. Yeah, put them flat. Okay? So maybe the favor tipped a little bit in my, in my, to my side now, okay? I might just open the lapel. I'm here just staying tight, staying tight. I'm looking for this inside position. And you're asking, do I go to the knee slice first? I don't even really knee slice. I think I just came up here. Maybe your knee's out, maybe it's not. Um, I mean, I really like this position here too. Oh, I hate this position. Right? Because I can push on this, and then my knee's out. Right there, I get my underhook, I can pass. That's, I do that one a lot. I'll uh, walk my foot up, and they always go to push this. Right here, right? I'm on my Kimura. So, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think too much about, do I have to do this, 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 this exact order? Think more broadly. Like, I'm thinking, I control the head, I control the rest of the body. So I have this good grip here. If he tries to take me this way, I have this, right? I have my head too. He's not gonna come toward me because I got the grip, okay? So I would, I would probably put them in first if I had to answer your question specifically. And then, yeah, slide down, get your other grip. And here, of course, you can always look for your pass. Okay? Does that answer it? It is, that's the Uh-huh. But yeah, a lot of times it's like, we're playing, they always say chess, chess match, right? Which I don't like the analogy 100% because I don't think it should be move, 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 move. It should be more like my move, my move, my move. But yes. um, it is like if they're stalling here. Also remember that the, all, a lot of our, our fights and our matches have a, the time aspect to it too. So he's here and he's holding on my weight. He's kind of cooking right now. He's marinating. I'll let him, I'm chewing and I'm just controlling. Waiting for a little opening, whatever it is. There it is right there, okay? And then I start to work, whatever it is, okay? More questions? Any questions, guys? One question. Uh, one thing I, I think I like, especially uh, with training out there every once in a while with them, uh, they own uh, in the Masalaminos, is especially like, I, I feel like it's so hard to deal with you guys, the, the, the style of passing that you guys have. If I let you guys kind of get close like that, it's almost done because it's that tight passing. It's so hard to deal with. It's like, right? you know, in the video games when you're fighting and they got the little energy bar. It's going down and down and down as I'm putting pressure. Yeah, yeah. I got my, you got the shoulder and the neck. Yeah, that, that, I think there's nobody does it better than you guys in Leon Jiu Jitsu where that, 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 that half guard tight passing, half guard. Right. Especially if you, yeah, that pressure is just unheard of. It's just ridiculous. Like if that's, uh, as, far, as far as tight passing, I have never encountered any other, you know, teams that I train with where the tight passing is so tight as that, uh, as that because... It just the thing about the tight passing is, a lot of people, they stand up, they toriando, yeah. they cartwheel, all kinds of crazy stuff, but it does open you up a little bit more. Yeah. I think the tight passing, it might be a little bit more of a grind to pass, but you're a little bit safer. Yeah. 100%. Because a lot of guys invert now, and they do all kinds of stuff like that. So it's a little slower game, yeah. but... I think it also transfer well as you get as you get a little older. Yeah. You're not going to be cartwheeling once you're six, <laughs> 60 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not cartwheeling. Dude, <laughs> one more thing. I have one student, Christian. I promised him to ask you. Yes. Um, I know you guys today. You have, all have all of you guys have a good deep half type game, right? Uh -huh. uh, can you show your favorite suite, maybe, or maybe some very important? Just yes. a, a quick summary. Just you don't have to do it a full. So the deep half. I don't, they're familiar with this position already. Uh, a little bit, but not, not much because so I So let me get to the position. So you're looking for your, a lot of times the under the underhook is the big fight in half guard right here, right? So I'm looking to get my underhook and to scoop his leg here. Okay? Christian, you might want to come this way. So once I'm here, I'm looking, see how my hip is out here to the side? I'm looking to get under him. So just a little bit of a scoop. See now my center of gravity is under his center of gravity. So I'm almost to the position. I'm gonna use all my limbs here and hug. You can hug here, you can hug here, hug the tree, and I'm pinching real tight with my legs here. Okay? So the, the probably the first sweep I would teach, I also like to keep my head here, kind of like a pillow on his hip, is look, if I just keep moving out this way, this way, this way, there's a nice sweep right here. 
I come up, I'm still pinching his leg here. I just switch my head here, okay? Come up tight. You have to watch out for the triangle there. If this leg comes out, I'm in triangle city. Okay? That's why, that's why I stay on this leg. And I pinch it with my legs. One more time. So I like how you scoot out your legs, right? You yeah. So here I'm looking to get my underhook and this one in here. Put my head on the inside. I need to get my center under his. So look, it's like the hip escapes we always do in warm-ups and everything. I step on the mat, just a little hip movement under. Use everything here, see? My leg, this one stepping on the mat, my two arms, here, okay? So sometimes they do know that sweep, the one towards this way, and they face forward. So this is when I look to push the butt, and I'll come up the back, still pinching, still got the leg. And I'll look to take down here. One more. This one, I, I, this is a good one too. If you can get this grip right here. Oh, I hate this one. This is good. See this grip here? Just come up. You can't stop this one. That one I, I wait for usually. I'm here and I'm, I'm looking at this foot. If it comes close, I'm getting the grip here, right on the cuff. If it doesn't, I'll keep working my position. I can do stuff with the lapels here, feet in here. This is good too. What you want to look out for from this way is your arm right here. Yeah. You want to look out for this. So, let's keep it tight. So, anytime you see this little triangle of space, in the arm, you see that little triangle? It's warm. So, you gotta hide it. And I keep it tight. Okay. Look, push. Here. I'm moving. See, I'm moving my butt. I'm bouncing. Come up. Keep the leg. Do not get triangled here. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.